First up, we got Kanye West. What is Kanye West doing with news that has to do with gaming? Well, he's always talking shit. Everybody knows that Kanye West is always talking shit. So apparently, Kanye West went to Twitter because if you're going to talk shit, you're going to talk shit on Twitter. And he has a problem with in-app purchases. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, well, first of all, I, I, if you can't be a gamer. But that's obviously when you get, like, usually it's a free game. I mean, you can buy a game and then pay in-game, which is even worse. But apparently, he has a problem with people going and buying additionally in a game. Usually, you get a free game, especially with a kid's game. You go and you buy a game, like on the App Store or something, and you're playing it, and the next thing you know, it's like, oh, you want to buy a new color, a new dress, a new add-on, a new map, a new level. I mean, any goddamn thing, and then you got to pay for it. So here he went on and said, first of all, he said, fuck any game company that puts in-app purchases on kid games. And then he put three exclamation points, because apparently he had additional characters left over Now, on now Twitter. Jay LaRock, now Jay LaRock, now I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> But before you do, I want to let you know that is there any way that we could deport his ass to somewhere other than fucking out of the United States? Because seriously, the more the man opens his mouth, it's like, oh my god, it's like his asshole is now in the front of his face and just shit comes out. Every, I mean, the man, give him credit where all credit is due in the music that he did is, is great. But the more that man opens his mouth, the more I sit there and I look at him and I just have to do that, like, not a mad, like, n not a mad father, but I'm, like, I'm a disappointed in you <laughs> type of, you know, look. Just that, you know, looking, uh, like, man, I just sit there and I, like, just do this and go, oh, my God, Kanye, shut <laughs> up, because you're making yourself look stupid. But anyways, continue. Hey. No, but see, the thing is, is that he won over people because so many people hate in-game purchases, especially on apps. Exactly. So, I mean, he, he was winning people over. I mean, people were like, oh, go, Kanye. Well, I mean, it's funny because they were like, fuck Kanye. And they were like, oh, wait, <laughs> he's right. So people are kind of torn. They're like, wait a minute, I hate Kanye, but he's right. So they're like, they don't know what to say. Yeah, I mean, the whole, like, in-app purchase, I mean, if you sit there and you look at, like, the whole controversy of the whole in-app purchase thing that's been going on, um, Big problem where, you know, if you look at even out to the UK, they freaking sat there and did this whole, like, class action thing where they refunded, you know, a whole bunch of people money because of the whole, like, they weren't really advertising the paid stuff on the inside or they made it in a way where, like, it was a simple touch of a button, boop, done. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's shady practices and this and that, as a lot of people would say, but at the same time, if you look at a genre like MMOs. It's it's kept games going that normally would have shut down a long time ago for having these like in-app purchases. Now, granted, you have many windows of doing it right, doing it wrong. Um, if you look at Lord of the Rings Online, for instance, is one of the biggest ones that gets credited with doing the in-game purchases right, where you could sit down and play the entire game from beginning to end and not pay a dime. But you can sit there and buy the DLCs. You can buy stuff that will give you, you know, more quests in an area so you level up faster, which worked out great. And then you have other companies that do the pay-to, you know, the pay-to-play <laughs> completely wrong. Um, and, and my, the only game I can think of is look at how uh, the Star Wars uh, Old Republic is where, yeah, they let you play the game for free, but you're so limited to what you can do with that free membership, right. you might as well pay the 15 bucks. Yeah, and, and apparently here, he has specifically a problem with kids' games. Because he's like, fuck any game company that puts in-app purchases on kids' games. So, yeah, with the three exclamation points. And then he goes later on to say, that makes no sense. Another three exclamation points. We give the iPad to our child, and every five minutes, there's a new purchase. So, I guess apparently... There's kids purchasing every five minutes, which I guess I can I can understand because some of these games, I mean, it pops up. Like, I didn't even know that because, I mean, I'm not playing any of these apps, but you'll be playing these games. I remember um, one of the old Star Wars games. It wasn't, you know, any of the ones that you see on PC or Xbox or anything. It was one of the ones that you log in 
and you play it like on the web. And it was really cheesy. Like you would go in and you'd play like these saber battles. But it was like, oh, buy these coins and you can do this. Buy this and you can do that. And it was like, upgrade your lightsaber, upgrade this. And it was like every five minutes, buy these coins. <laughs> and it was like, what the hell? And as a kid, you're just thinking, hey, if I got you know, my mom or dad's credit card attached to this, no problem. Just keep sliding that. And, you know, some of these parents are like, as long as my kid is a quiet, who cares? You know? Yeah, and sure. There's yeah. a reason why Candy Crush is the top grossing game on freaking the App Store <laughs> right now, man. Seriously, you're playing Candy Crush, and you can't get, you know, you can't break that damn jelly. And it's like, hey, you know, 99 cents or whatever the hell it costs, get some extra lollipops. You just keep buying that shit, and kids, you know, they'll, they'll keep buying it, man. And I think you know what it reminds me of those nine seven six numbers that you used to call oh back God, in the day. Yeah. To I, get uh, hints. Um, I think I think the big the, the big jump forward is a lot of these the now the app stores themselves have made it where there has to be like an extra uh, step involved, where it's not just push one button, boom, done. Now it has to take multiple steps, type of thing. Um, to get it done. I mean, it's it's still pretty easy for a kid to sit there and <laughs> purchase something. Um, like especially now, like I've seen it now with the app, the Apple App Store is you know it'll ask like it'll hit you. You hit the thing. You have to put the password in to be able to make that purchase. Now, granted, if your kid knows your password, you're screwed regardless. <laughs> um, but it's it's one of those things. Like it's it's nice to see that. They are taking some steps to make not make it as easy, but again, it's still pretty easy, you know. Yeah, and 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 thing is, is I mean, with games, could you imagine like if you had a game like Mario, like say you know Mario Bros. back in the day, where if let's say like even like Mario Three, you went into the little mushroom area and you get to pick from the three boxes. And one of them would open up, and it'd be like a one-up. Another one would be like the the raccoon suit uh, leaf, and the other one would be like a, a mushroom or a fire flower. Could you imagine if you did that, and when you were about to pick the one to select to go into your inventory, it's like, oh, <laughs> give us ninety-nine cents, and they'll go into your inventory. Shh, don't say that shit too loud. You'll give these people ideas out there, man. Yeah, yeah. Or you want you want the warp whistle, so you can go this to the next. Up. You know, you can go to additional worlds. Oh, don't, don't you know? Two ninety nine. We'll give you the warp whistle. <laughs> I think the best comic, like a web comic I saw, was like, you know, you look. It showed like back in nineteen ninety three or nineteen eighty five. It showed a guy like, all right, cool. You know, I spent hours unlocking all the secret characters, and it's like twenty fifteen. It's the same dude with holding a credit card. It's like, all right, I just paid to unlock all the secret characters. 